Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the actual setup, cable by cable, setting by setting, how we're getting our X32 into Logic and using it to go into our live stream with the A10 Mini. All right, check it out. We have a Behringer X32. It's hooked up to our stage. Obviously our mics are coming into there. And then we have Logic right here. We have a Scarlett Focusrite 2i2 going over to our Blackmagic Design A10 Mini Pro, and that's what broadcast live. So now that you see the overall setup, let's talk about first of all, we're using a USB out of this board. Okay, don't worry. I know this seems confusing, but I have a link in the description with a brand new diagram. It's on our website. Just check the link in the description for the new diagram that will show you every single cable that I'm using in this setup. Now let's go back to it. So we're using the USB card out of the X32 and that's going straight over here just really just I think it's right here it's going right in to USB into the computer so first of all we'll set I'll show you how you set up the routing on the X32 I think that was the biggest question from one of the users on the website basically you go to routing on the X32 you click over like this until you get to what says card okay and then you just assign the outs of the card 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, 25 through 32. So 32 outs going straight out the USB, and that makes this like one giant audio sound card, okay? So when you USB into here, then you're in Logic. So this is the second setting. You would go up to Logic, and you go right in here to uh, Preferences, and you have to, this is the kind of the trick. You go to Audio. Uh, it's not like a secret trick. It's just have, You have to do this. The input device is XUSB. That's the X32. Okay, so if you put it on Scarlet, it won't do that anything. You have to put on an XUSB. Okay, and so once you do that, we'll, and then your output is going to be the Scarlet, but we'll talk about that next. So you get the input, and then what I do is I sort of mirror what I have on my console. So I have my drums, kick, snare, tom, all that going here. What I do is I kind of mirror that in my Logic session. This is also a download. You can get our Logic session download so I have each one of these you have to go up to the channel and tell it to input one input two input three input four six seven uh, six nine ten so whatever input you want for the overheads you would just go over here and it, okay if this says kick drum is on channel two that's what we have our kick two is channel two you'd go over here and you would make your kick um, input channel two okay so we have two different kicks but so basically um, if you want your keys uh, they're a stereo that's in 16 so you would go over here and find out where your where your output is you're on channel 16 for keys and you would tell channel 16 to be the input of the keys channel over here so that is exactly what you do you are mirroring your x32 or your your console whatever console you have and you can do this with a lot of different consoles if they have USB out and a lot of the new ones do you can do that into logic now how do we get out of logic and this is this is important. How we get out of Logic is we have this uh, Scarlet 2i2 interface. Very simple interface. So if you go in here and you go to um, you go back to preferences and you go to audio preferences, you have Scarlet 2i2 USB as your output device. So now you can take that is uh, two channels. What I have and I have this in my diagram right out of the back output. I go into a hum eliminator. I have to have a hum eliminator because it makes a weird sound. The hum eliminator goes all the way over here and it goes into the number one channel of the A10 Mini Pro. That goes straight out to Facebook. So this is, um, when I'm monitoring this, this little big knob is actually the volume of our live stream. And this is our, our headphone volume. And that is really key. You don't use anything in here. You don't have to have anything in the front. You're just using this as an output device. If you don't do that, if you just use your computer as output, let's say if you just said output uh, system settings, so you can use the MacBook Pro speakers, the problem with that is every time you um, turn the computer audio up and down for your headphones or whatever, it, there's not a great way to monitor that. Okay, we did that in the beginning, but every time you change the volume here, it changes the volume going over to your live stream. So this is, this is the setup, X32, in make a mirror template again you can download this template on our website then out to the focus right and out of the focus right into the a10 mini pro 
and that is uh, that is set up right there and then you have live you have full out live it's all working right there all right guys so I hope this helps and remember you can download my templates you can download my new graphical design thing that I'm gonna make of this exact setup but there will be a link in this description with a brand new setting I'm gonna show you the cables the setup exactly what I just showed you in this video in a diagram so you can you can change it study it you can put your gear in there you can switch out a board a lot of the new boards if they have a USB out they can act just like this they can send eight channels 12 channels 16 channels out individually into your doll so if you're in logic pro tools whatever it is it's still the same setup so leave a comment in, the, uh, in this video. Let me know if you have any questions about exactly uh, what I'm doing here. But this is, it's been fun. It's been a fun uh, journey getting this all set up. And yeah, it's a little messy. I'm gonna clean up the cables. That's our next phase now that it's all working. And then a phase after that, we're gonna move our actual live stream mixer into another room. You can see he's sitting right there with us right now. So right now we have our live stream mixer standing here and our front of house mixer standing here and our video guy standing here and our presenter guy standing here. So it's okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna take this live stream mix and we're gonna put it across the hall into a studio room that we're building over there. And then we can really dive into mixing and training our volunteers right here. So guys, if you're struggling and you need help, don't worry, I have some resources in the description. Also foundations for audio and live stream that shows you everything I do, bring you in, teach you about compression, EQ. We can talk about all the things you need to talk about. And if you wanna go even further than that, have me help you with your individual specific mix or setup, you can always contact me in the link in the description. Go to worshipmanbuilder.com or worship the king. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video.